Yes. Chocolate. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> and ice cream. While she's the baby in the PG crew, we think that sometimes she's the most mature, and then other times we don't. <laughs> she's so down to earth with no pretensions whatsoever. Although she has described herself as unsophisticated. <laughs> She's caring, thoughtful, somewhat disorganised and carefree. Although her forgetting to pick up her wedding dress one week before the wedding for a final dress fitting may have put her into the little two yeah. <laughs> Michelle makes friends wherever she goes, even when we made her go to McDonald's in Bondi during her hands to ask the store manager if she could have her wedding there. She even managed to score a free soft serve. <laughs> For me though, when people ask, Michelle simply put, my best friend. <laughs> she has been the one constant in my life. Even when we, you've been living overseas. We've always said that we lead the same lives but five years apart from each other. We often say that we're the same person in different ages, except clearly she's not Asian. <laughs> Together, laugh together, together, and I look forward to spending so many more years sharing our lives together. We shared so many memories and experiences, both good and not so good, mainly over boys, in the past 10 years. Our relationship has spanned over 17,000 kilometres from London to Canada and Sydney, and many years of being apart in different cities, but one thing has remained unwavering, which is our friendship. I remember with fondness our initial days of working together at PNG when we used to go and have meetings in the huddle rooms to discuss important issues about why guys were such dickheads <laughs> and what really was the ROI of dating one guy over another. <laughs> Jungle juice weekends, lunch clubs, and more recently, October birthday babies. There is one particular incident that has left a really long-lasting imprint in my memory, and that's the breakup. When I resigned from PNG all those years ago, I started telling all the work colleagues, and rather than expressing their sadness over my departure, the first thing that everyone said was, oh my goodness, have you told Michelle? <laughs> she will be devastated. I vividly recall asking her to a huddle room, sitting her down, and being so scared to tell her <laughs> my news. I feel like you're breaking up with me, were the words that came out of her. <laughs> Michelle recently wrote to me in a letter and said that that was truly one of the most heartbreaking pieces of news anyone had ever told her. <laughs> and that's the point that cemented what a true friend I'd become and one that she knew that she'd have forever. And I feel exactly the same way when she told me she was leaving to London. We shared so many memories together, so many phone calls, so many shopping trips, breaking beds, crying over boys, <laughs> attentive gym sessions at Fitness First where we would walk on the treadmill for half an hour and <laughs> take <that> exercise. <laughs> Many hours of discussion over whether junior burger and fries really constitutes as a proper meal <laughs> and that eating greens really can be delicious, Michelle. <laughs> Trying to argue with her that going to McDonald's on a first date does not make the guy a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> we would spend hours over the phone talking about everything and nothing. Yesterday, obviously Huxi wasn't able to make it, she's currently in Spain, so I have a small message from her. Imagine her loud, booming voice and distinct laughter at the end of this. <laughs> our little guestie is all grown up. You have made Chani and I very proud. If only our three little fishes were here to witness your wedding. I hope that the celebrations today are everything that you dreamed they would be, and that the toughest part of your day will be deciding whether or not you can get away with stealing Martin's dessert. <laughs> Much more, Martin, I have to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of yours. <laughs>
I'm glad that your commitment to Michelle has remained so strong. I know how much you truly love her and how much she means to you, and that means a lot to me. You make her laugh and you ground her. You put up with her idiosyncrasies, her occasional lack of reasoning, and her obsession for McDonald's. And you do realise that's the one thing you're going to have to live with for the rest of your life. You complement each other in so many ways. Michelle loves desserts, you don't. You make decisions, and guest is quite possibly the most indecisive person I've ever met, with the exception of myself. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle loves a good bargain, you love to fly first class. <laughs> You're both passionate and feisty people, and not surprisingly, that's the nature of your relationship. Continue being passionate, but also remember to communicate every day. I recently came across a quote that made me think of the both of you as a couple. As you sit side by side through this roller coaster of life, Remember to scream from the peaks. You'll be good at it, Michelle. <laughs> Hold hands through the dips. Laugh through the loop-de-loops. And enjoy every twist and turn. For the ride is better because you shared it together. Martin, thank you so much for looking after my best friend and continuing to look after her. And Michelle, a few words of advice. Let Martin look after you. <laughs> <laughs> And always continue supporting Port Adelaide, even though I still think the books. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, words of advice for you. Please continue to supply your wife with an endless supply of Ben and & Jerry's and McDonald's. <laughs> On a personal note, Michelle, thank you so much for being my best friend. You continue to inspire me every day. That anything is possible, regardless of the situation and circumstance, if you really put your mind and heart to it. I'm truly blown away by your commitment to your family, your friends, Nathan and Daniel, your drive, your complete independence, your wanting to help everyone and make things better. I feel so incredibly lucky that I met you all those years ago. And I cannot put into words how much you meant to me. Thank you for always being there whenever I needed you and for being an unconditional friend. When I think about it, I can't believe that. I wonder how we became to be friends in the first place given how different we are. They say that friends come into our life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And I'm so glad that you certainly fall into the middle latter category. I admire and love your passion for, your life, for life, so please continue that as the both of you continue your journey together. Can't wait for us to continue our lives together as married couples, <laughs> and hopefully our kids too, who we've already married off to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Guesty and Martin, your relationship to date has been built out of love, commitment, trust, respect, and understanding of each other. May all of that, the same love and caring, warmth, and a little compromise, or a lot, always make your home happy, your life complete, and your love never ending. If I can invite everyone to raise their glasses and a toast. Yeah. To Martin and Michelle, I wish you both a lifetime of love, happiness with family and friends who love you. To Mr. and Mrs. Fry, and hopefully lots of little fries along the Keep your hands going for the very, very